Yeah, welcome back everybody. We're going to continue with the math questions. The next one is number. The next one is 7A. The next one is 7A. Now, it says a man purchased 180 copies of a book at 250 naira each. He sold white copies at 300 naira each and the rest at a discount of 5 kobo in the naira of the cost price. If he made a profit of 7,125 naira, find the value of Y. Okay, what's the cost price? Cost price, let me call that CP, is 180 times 250, which is 45,000 naira. Now, what's going to be the selling price? By the way, what's even, yeah, what's it, find the value of I selling price. He sold, yeah, selling price. He sold 300 of them. He sold Y of them at 300 naira each. And the rest at a discount of 5 kobo in the naira of the cost price. So that means the total selling price will be 300 times Y, which is the selling price of Y of them loss the remaining will be 180 minus y plus 180 minus y times is sold the remaining at a discount of five combo in the naira of the cost price that will be times 95 if you give it discount of five combo you will have 95 combo in naira that's 95 100 times 250 because they said at a discount of five combo in the naira of the cost price times 250. Hey, I want to make sure that what I'm writing is clear. Yeah, times 250. And that's the same as 300y plus 180 minus y times the whole of this 95 over 100 times 250 is 237.5 which simply means 300y plus now let's open the bracket that's 237.5 times 180 which is 42750 minus 237.5 y and that's the same as 62 so that means selling price equals 300 y minus 237.5 y is 62.5 y that's 62.5 y plus 42,750 yeah that's that's what it is now we're finding the value of y Profit, we know that the formula for profit. Profit equals selling price minus cost price. That simply means 7,125 equals selling price. Which is 62.5Y plus 42,750 minus cost price, which is 45,000 and then I can say and then I can say 62.5 y equals 7,125 minus 42,750 plus 45,000 that's simply taking the whole of this to the left hand side now that's that means 62.5 y equals 7125 minus 42750 plus 45000 that's 9375 which means y equals 
9,375 divided by 62.5 and that means y equals 150 which answers a question very very simply and now we go to the next which is which is 7b let's see what's, what's 7b a trader bought <coughs> A trader bought X bags of rice at a cost C equals 24 plus 24X plus 103 and sold them at a price S equals 33X minus X squared over 20. So let's get that first. Cost price C is 24X plus 103. That's a formula for the cost price. And the selling price S is 33x minus x squared over 20. Now the first question, which is Roman figure 1, is find the expression for the profit. Of course, profit, that's extremely simple. Profit is selling price. SP minus cost price, which simply means in this case SP is small s and CP cost price is small c. So that means profit equals S, which is 33x minus x squared over 20 minus C, which is 24x plus 103. And that's the same as 33x minus x squared over 20 minus 24x. Let me write this well. Minus 24x minus 103. And that's the same as 33x minus 24x is 9x. So that's 9x minus x squared over 20 minus 103. So that's the expression for the cost price. Now, the second question, which is Roman figure 2. If 20 bags of rice were sold, calculate the percentage profit. If 20 bags of rice were sold, that means x is 20. The cost price of the 20 bags is 24x which is 24 times 20 plus 103. Cost price is 24x plus 103. So cost price of 20 bags will just be 24 times x plus 103. And that's 480 plus 103, which is 583. Now the selling price of the 20 bags, we know that selling price is 33 x minus x squared over 20 so cost price selling price of 20 bags that simply means x is 20 so that's 33 times 20 minus x squared over 20 which means 20 squared all over 20 and that is same as 660 minus 660 minus 20 which is 640. Yeah, that's so. What's the percentage profit on the 20 bags sold? Profit on 20 bags sold is equal to profit on 20 bags sold will be selling price of the 20 bags, which is 640 minus cost price of the 20 bags, which is 583. So that's 640 minus 583, which is the same as, I think that's 57. Yeah, that's 57. 640 minus 583. Yeah, that's 57. So that means we can now find the percentage profit. Therefore, percentage profit on 20 bucks sold equals profit made on 20 bags sold which is 57 all over cost price of the 20 bags which is 583 times 
hundred percent, and that's equal to let's check fifty seven divided by five hundred and eighty three times hundred, and that's nine point seven seven seven, which is equal to nine point seven eight. Let's just call it nine point seven eight percent. Yeah, nine point seven eight percent. That's a percentage profit made on the 20 bags sold. All right, let's pause there. Okay, the next one, let me see. The next eight and nine are graphs. Yeah, eight and nine are graphs. So I think we'll do that much later. And we just take number 10. We can come back to the graphs much later. The next one we're going to do is number 10. But in the meantime, let's take a breather and then we'll be back. Thank you very much and see you in the next. Bye-bye.